You guys are amazing, by the way. Um, holy cow. I want to say thank you first for, uh, I mean, that's crazy. Uh, yes, Ursina. And I'm sorry that you guys all had to go through <laughs> making us, uh, making me win that bet. That was amazing. Um, Sorry, guys, just wrapping up a text. Um, Ursina, I love you, girl. Guys, that was absolutely incredible. Um, yes, Paula Puffer, I believe it is monetized. Oh, Robin Miners. Hi, Kim Greenleaf. Jay Bernie, not so bad, Jay. Uh, Lacey, thank you for being here. Lacey Silver. Um, hey, Deeming. Jamie Palmer. Shauna B, thank you. Dirty Mouse, I'm glad you're back. Moon Shadow. Thank you, Moonshadow. Guys, um, hey, Lori Washburn, Silent Grief Talks. Panko, I'm happy to see you back. Uh, let's see. Uh, Phoenix Rising. Thank you, Phoenix Rising. If you call chat assemble, we do whatever we can. You sure did in a huge, huge way. That's amazing. Diana H., Charlotte's here. I don't know how to say your last name, Charlotte. Denise Doyen, Mile High Hokey. Uh, yeah, for sure, Mal High Hokey. Uh, he owes me some shoes, doesn't he? Tony's Hooter, Aaron F. Thank you, Aaron F. Cooler by the Lake, Tampa B-Man. Thank you, babe. I love you, Barbara. Uh, Ellie J. Keela. Thank you, Keela. I love you, Keela. I want you to know it. Christina Carter. The Admiral said you won. Did he say that? Well, then uh, that speaks truth. He speaks the truth. Dana B, yarn prepper. Uh, Cassie Isaac, hey, babe. Thank you, uh, Mods, for being here. Uh, deeming, and that has to be some kind of a record. I would think, so. hey, Blakey, I would think that's some kind of a record, Deeming, for sure. For sure. Uh, rain virus. Ew, that's gross. Sorry to hear that, Rain. Um, good to see you, Ad Camp. Shannon M., Dangerous Journeyman. Shelly Kelly, love you, girl. Big Z. It was a fun video, guys. Nothing but love. Uh, yes. Hi, Witness. Oh, I love that, Ev Barney. Thank you for being supportive, Ev. I love that. Okay, Tampa B. Thank you for telling us you're naked. Hi, Ditto Deb. So yeah, guys, I just seriously, I, that was a, hey, Ruthie Brown. Thank you, Ruthie Brown. Good God, girl. Thank you. Uh, that was an amazing, amazing live with Tommy yesterday uh, on the Relata boat. And I just want to say thank you again. Um, it was, he's so fun to chat with. I love talking to Tommy. He's amazing. Um, hey, J9, Katie Lauren. I think Tommy should buy you three pairs of shoes since it was only 24 hours. Rain, the math on that does make sense. Uh, I will uh, I will get with him on that and, and see if, if that kind of girl math makes sense to him. Uh, Jen, Jen, Pookie, love you, girl. Riley's human, hey. Unstoppable SP, hello. Um, hey, P. Taylor. So again, guys, I really wanted to... When did you hit your target? I don't know. When I talked to Tommy this morning, um, this is why you are an up and coming cult leader, Reese. Is that what it takes, Paula? Is that what it takes? You get people to do things like drinking Kool-Aid. I guess that's what it takes. Um, that's kind of wild. Uh, we can go shopping with you and vote. Uh, Kim, hello. Lino's here. Stephanie McCann, Anna Banana. I love Anna Banana. Uh, a new pair of golden geese. Cha-ching. I'm not going to do that to Tommy, you guys. It was a silly, it was an empty bet. It was an empty gesture. It was a fun bet, but you know what? I don't need uh, Peace Lady, Liz R, C. McCarthy. Um, thank you, Ditto Deb. Hey, Squirrel Girl. Guys, I'm not going to do that to Tommy. And, and oh, instead of Kool-Aid, can we drink Mountain Dew? Blake, I don't do Mountain Dew, man. I got the beaties. That could kill me, but honestly. But you can, Blakey. You're young. You're what, 14? Uh, Sarah Browitt. I love you, Blakey. Mina. Hey. Uh, Charlotte, that dog got adopted. 
Hey, Lori Helker. I think I already said hi to you, but that's okay. Squirrel Girl, thank you. Been trying to incorporate more pops of red. Big Z, thank you so much. Well, what you asked us to do was easy and harmless, in all fairness, says F. Barney. Um, what? Lacey Silver. Dang, girl, that is some loyalty. We are your followers, and I'm sure most of us would follow you into a pit. Okay. Okay. I don't drink sweet wall. I don't drink alcohol and I really don't drink soda. I will have iced tea from time to time. And I have a cup of coffee probably three days a week. Um, Tommy at least owes you some turquoise jewelry. You know what? He does. Cause that would look amazing with this red. I love turquoise and red. We should have told him that. Dang. Uh, hey, Sophia, the bangs are new. Not really. I don't do bangs. These are just like short little face framing wispies, but I just had her trim them up. Panko. Oh my God, Panko. Thank you. That is so nice of you. No glasses today. When I get my hair done, Sarah, I don't like to wear glasses. I put my contacts in because she's all around my face and I have to take them off and I can't see without my glasses. So Shelly Kelly. Thank you, babe. Hey, Mara. Oh yeah. F Barney. There you go. That's amazing. J9. Yeah, that's so cool, Panko. Thank you for doing that. I think it's so cool when you guys gift memberships because I love how excited it makes the person. It also makes me very excited. <laughs> Blakey, you're so cute, Blake. Um, so guys, hey, John Van Geese, I haven't seen you for a minute, brother. I'm glad you made it. Donna N, howdy, girl. Cute. Who says howdy anymore? That's adorable. We should adopt that. Um. The Relate Boat. I want to say thank you, Wendy Macbeth, uh, Rhonda Rambles. That's okay. I'm glad you made it, girl. Um, Katri, it's been a week for you, John. I get that, brother. I fully feel it. I feel it a lot. Uh, I want to say thank you to you guys. I really want to make sure that I acknowledge you guys. You worked really hard, Marion Calabro. Lulie's Enchanting Pixels. That's cute. Ha, so you had your hair done, popping the blonde look. Cute, always. Thank you, Sarah. Yes. Hey, Braz. Uh, Dana B. I, yeah, she lightened it a little bit more. I like the blonde, especially this time of year. Um, thank you, LL Jersey girl. Love you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. So, you know, don't get used to it. Don't be excited about it. She did it with just one of those wand things. And I was like, Kelly, why can't I do that? She was like, you can do that. And I was like, no, I can't. Cause I scald my forehead every time it happens. And then I have to go get a passport photo done. Uh, so no, we can't actually do it. It's not as easy as you might think. I Skywriter, I love you. And I'm glad you're here. Hey, Lumen, that's okay. You made it for roll call. Ursina, thank you. Uh, okay. Sophia. Yeah. I can't see without my glasses, girl. So it was a really fun show yesterday. I know I'm kind of dragging this out, but I'm also trying to do roll call and you know how that goes. Like Lisa Kelson, she's late. She was taking a nap. Had to wake up every two hours to restart the relate boat. Hi everyone, Reese, you are rocking in the red. Lisa, thank you. Guys, everybody can stop. It's monetized. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's alive. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You proved to me how loyal you truly are. And I love you guys and we're so close and I, I truly mean it. Thank you. Um, People, places, and perspectives. Hey. Oh, my God. Minestrone soup sounds so good. I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet today. I just brought some water down and had a sip of it for the first time. Hi, Elizabeth Whitney. Thank you, Lino, for doing that. Lori, thank you. Yeah, the stylists always style it up. And it's like, I'm going to let people down, girl, because I'm never going to have hair like this again. Crystal. The Twitch streaming group I'm part of, Tabletop Live Network, is raising money all weekend for Extra Life Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. I'd love to share my page if that's okay. Uh, yes, I don't know if you can do it without the mods doing it. Tell them to do it. Or definitely share it in the Facebook group, Crystal, but we love you and you're such a big hearted girl. I love that. Thank you. Thank you, Mama's Life. Sarah Robin, hey girl. Nana of 12, that's okay. You made it. Uh, Relate about has close to 2000 subscribers. I didn't second guess you guys for a second. Lisa Kelson, you're making enchiladas. Oh, of course you are. God, that sounds good. Uh, is it a new stylist? No, no, it's the same girl. Had her for over 10 years. Uh, Ad Kempt. Thank you so much, Ad Kempt. Yeah, go post it in the Facebook group for sure. Oh my God. Beef stroganoff sounds so good. 
I think everything sounds good because I've had nothing to eat. Hi, Dawn. Is there a flat iron perfect for you by Lange? Yes. Going to get one myself. If you would, yeah, Deanna Downey, email it to me. I don't mind that brand. I have some hair tools by that brand. Mend Candy. Thank you, Dawn. Witness says, maybe you can talk some sense into Sterling and tell him to create some playlists. Um, I'd love to. I try to talk sense into him often, but he ends up talking sense into me. Sorry, Witness. Um, I uh, He did say that we may be doing something sometime soon, but I don't want to get my damn hopes up with these dusty sons. You know what I'm saying? They say one thing. They let your ass down. I'm not talking about anybody specific. I'm just complaining because I'm still on my period. Hi, Zelda. Really quick, I owe my employees a bonus for the channel being monetized. What? Okay, we'll collect from Tommy. Everybody collect from Tommy. He's he's throwing out them dollar bills. He's throwing out them golden geese. You know he is. Uh, sweet Tommy. He's he's a good one, guys. He's a good one. Those, da those damn dusty ass sons. There are some dusty sons. I really wish I could have been in Clearwater Buddy's dad, Conroe. Texas. Shame you couldn't be at the big Clearwater gathering, even imported from across the pond. Kelly copter there with Natalie. I wasn't invited. I didn't even know about it. So uh, I would have gone. I might have gone. Um, I do have something this weekend, but uh, I might have made that work had I known about it in advance. Honestly, I would have loved to have met those girls. I think they're amazing. Thank you. Brown Spotted Eagle. Thank you so much. Uh, Carrie Ann, love you, girl. You're at work listening. That's okay. I appreciate you. Is Sterling still on YouTube? Sounds rude, but I don't mean, uh, not, it's not his job. I mean, here's the thing. This is my full-time job. Aaron does this. This is his full-time job. I'm pretty sure Natalie does too. Maybe I'm wrong on her. I can't speak for her, but I know Aaron Smith Levin pretty well. Um, Sterling has a full-time job. Plus he coaches little league. Plus he travels all the time. So no, he, the, I don't think he's been on much. He's just not. He's taken a bit of a break. Um, hey, Chops World. Love that you won the bet. Can't wait to see the shoes. Well, don't hold your breath, guys. I, I don't see that actually following through. I, I appreciate you. I hope that doesn't hurt anybody that I'm saying we're not going to do it. But, like, we're probably not. I, I don't want to put Tommy out. I'm not going to. I don't expect him to spend any money. Um, I never did. So uh, thank you, Debbie Lima. Tweeter's mom. Hey. Aaron Burnett, thank you. The white watch looks good with the red. You know, I don't have enough watches. I wish I had more watches to switch through, but this is a good summer watch. Spring, summer. Um, she owns a business. Okay. Natalie owns a real estate brokerage with someone else. Good for her. That's awesome. Yeah, Blake, he'll be back. They always come back. They always come back. They circle back around, especially when they're on a damn loop. He can't stay away for very long. He will be back. Um, isn't it, isn't the fact you win the bet enough? Yes, exactly. Uh, I'm not, thank you, witness. I'm not going to hold Tommy to any kind of anything there. Guys, I just appreciate him. I appreciate his friendship. Love the guy. We all love Tommy. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I, I don't, I, it's just not my style to be like, okay, pay up. It's just not my thing. I wouldn't do that. And I never expected him to. And it was just, it was for fun, but I am glad I won. I am glad that I was right because I knew I would be right about that. I knew that you guys loved us and we loved you enough that we were going to make that whole thing lift off the ground quickly. And we did. And that's the point, honestly, it's amazing. And I love that. And I'm proud of it. And I'm thankful, very thankful for you guys. And I'm thankful to Tommy for starting it. Honestly, um, he's the determinator. That is perfect for Tommy. He is very determined. Uh, we still want to see you shop in Mexico. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I don't, uh, I don't know. That's right, Sarah. Yeah, guys, I have lost a ton. Hey, Teresa, of subscribers. I mean a ton. I looked again this morning. I'm down over 100, and that's totally okay. But it's not if, uh, 
you have to be ruthless, Reese. Carve that money out of Tommy. Uh, I'm not going to go collecting uh, like that to Tommy. He's he's a good guy. I'm not going to do that, John, but you're hilarious. Best thing Tommy could do is to send you uh, boogie baby shoes or toy shoes. Congrats. That's adorable. Um, Becky, you're excited about my visit to Arizona. Yes, I am really looking forward to that. Thank you, A girl. There won't be a relate about. Um, guys, it sounds like Tommy's uh, had something to do with Church's Chicken. He's like making a commercial. All, it might be all weekend, it sounds like. So um, we'll see. I don't know. He's He's got some stuff coming up in the works. I... We'll see. We'll see. I just don't know. I got to, I got to make contact with him and I haven't done that since this morning. Did I see a puppy tail in the corner? No, cause he's out there sleeping. So no, sorry though, Aaron, there's plenty of dogs around here to go around. Uh, relate about is fun to say. Yeah. Thank you, Deanna Downey for that. Tommy is going to insist on following through. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Love you and Tommy uh, and the Relatable. Thank you so much. That is, yeah, churches, big time. Yeah, guys, Tommy Tommy's the big time now, guys. He, he's so big that he might have spread himself too thin and he may not have time for me as much. And so we have to kind of be prepared for that. I think that he's got a lot in the works. He's got like a book going um, the sh Hulu show, uh, the commercial, um, his protein stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm preparing all of you right now that it sounds like he's gonna, he may not be around as much and, you know, we will uh, carry the torch. We will, we will check in on him and I totally, uh, I'm excited for him. Those are all good things. I'm very excited for him. Uh, Reese, when my husband hears your voice, he always yells out, what is Reese wearing today? Because you are such a fashion. That Jeff. That's, oh, wait, that's not Jeff. That's Yarn Prepper's husband. What's your husband's name? Did I know his name? Purple Groovy. I just went to Jeff and that's not it. But tell him hi. I know his name. You've told me his name before. Yeah, it sucks to lose subs, and I'm losing a lot of subs, Panko, a lot. And you know what? It's totally fine if they go and they do unsubscribe. I did that to a few channels myself recently. That's fine if it's totally on your own volition. But I think YouTube is unsubbing people like crazy. I loved that, too. Tommy was visibly more relaxed on the Relate About yesterday. He really was. Uh, he really was, guys. And Tommy is big time now, Lumen, and we may have to let him go do his thing. Um, yeah, he doesn't have time for us anymore, and that's okay because he's succeeding. And it's not for any bad reasons. It's for good reasons. So we give him a pass. Uh, Blake Reed, no, I didn't yet. Yes, he's a great entrepreneur, Panko. He definitely is. Um, yeah, his brother has that Hulu show, P. Taylor, um, Fire Hots or Super Hots or something. Um, and so I think they're going to do maybe another season of it. I honestly, I don't want to speak for Tommy because I don't, hey, Sassy Savage, I don't know the ins and outs of what's going on behind the scenes with, with the business side of things for him, but, um, he's just, uh, aww. Tommy was downright giddy and he loved it. He did, Sophia. He did. He really was able to let loose and enjoy himself. And I hope whatever he does, whatever he chooses to do, I hope that that feeling continues for him. You know, if he does the Hulu thing or Hey Joe virus or writing the book, I just, I really, really, really have high hopes for that man. I really hope that he does well. I wish him all the success and happiness. I really do. Uh, Elite Raider 25. Scientology took my wife and kids and held them in outer space. What do I do? What? I don't know what to do. I would prefer that you reach out to me because if that's serious, I really would like to help you. My mods, can you put up my email, please? I'm sorry that this has happened and I would like to look into it further. Please, uh, please reach out to me. Please email me. Uh, yes, V. McWilliams, we did it. Tammy, that's okay that you're late. You made it, girl. 
Uh, Judy Lee, Tommy will never again doubt the power of Reese. <laughs> He probably will over and over again, honestly. Uh, Nico Squirrel. Hey, babe. Meredith, no offense, but I feel like we ever, all we ever talk about is Tommy these days. Well, Meredith, I don't think that's true. Uh, Kelly, definitely uh, glad you made it. Meredith, that's why we created another channel so that we could go over there. The only reason I'm talking about Tommy right now is because he's a big part of that channel. He actually started that channel and he does amazing things. And I think that it's uh, worth talking about, highlighting and being grateful for him and being such a good friend. So, uh, you know, we'll move on from the subject, but yesterday was a really big milestone for us. And so we're celebrating. Thank you, Sassy Savage. A troll with some cash, apparently. I don't know. Stray, we got the watch hours. Yes, thank you for that. Hey, Kestrel. I, Lino, I don't know the watch hours. Honestly, I don't know yet, but I'm um, pretty sure we made it. Pretty sure. Love you, Ursina. Oh, have fun visiting London. That's amazing. That's where Martha Slummer was recently. Currently, she is celebrating her best friend. That is why. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. True. Thank you, Lisa. Celebrating, that's a good point. Celebrating Tommy's wins is always going to happen. Thank you for saying that. Thank you, Jillbo. I'm so out of the loop. Got to get caught up. Miss you guys. Susie CJ, I'm happy to see you, girl. I'm glad that you made it. That's right. We all celebrate everybody's wins on this channel. That is such a good point, Lisa Kelson. That is so true. That's why we're here. We celebrate our wins. We talk about our successes. We talk about our losses, sadnesses, whatever it is, because this is a safe place to do that. And we support each other. It's the truth. Um, I bet, Tammy. Uh, hi, Steph Cunningham. Oh, my God, Nancy Stitch. And I love Nancy Stitch. And I'm so glad you made it, girl. I love seeing you, Nancy. You always put me at ease. I love seeing you. You're a good friend. Hope you're doing well. We do celebrate each other's success, successes for sure. For sure. Hey, Lisa Black. Um, so I um, am getting so many messages from you guys of how much you love the relate about. And I just think that is so uplifting. It really warms me. It makes me just feel good all over. Thank you again. I, my phone has like 15 messages from the last five minutes of caught your guys's live. Loved it. Um, hi, Millie, the dandelion. Love you, girl. There's another one. Yeah, Joe virus. It was fun. It was fun. Um, so what else? What else, guys? Did I really, Joe? I love that, Panko. There's nothing better than celebrating a friend who is successful. Panko, that's true. I love that. I really do. Um, Well, I'm sorry, Joe. I didn't realize that I did that too much. That sucks and I don't like it. Thank you for pointing it out to me. Shay B, I'm glad you made it, girl. Skyrider, it was a hell of a week for so many, including me. Glad it's the weekend. Uh, Kim, she's sleeping next to me. Um, it's been a, quite a week. The week is already over, isn't it? She's actually not just sleeping, she's dreaming. Get him, Gert. 
You guys, that's the cutest thing. Chasing rabbits. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. It's cuter than a human baby. Uh, Reese, have you, do you have more tattoos planned? I don't, J9. No, this is probably it for me. Um, I don't really want to overdo it. It's so cute. Uh, Shannon, you missed Tommy and I's live. I will rewatch. Will there be another tonight? No, Tommy's uh, pretty tied up. I think he's going to be tied up for the weekend, guys. He's making a commercial with his brother. And um, I think that's going to take um, one or two takes, perhaps. So I am prepared for that. I don't know, John, but it was so cute. It's the cutest thing I've ever heard. I know, Crystal, it's too adorable. That's so cute, Lisa. Tina, it's okay. You made it, girl. Maybe she's dreaming about pup cups. Just tuned in, not sure what is being discussed, but hey, Reese, Gertie is putting some straight on things in her sleep by the sounds of it. Emma knows it was so cute. Oh, Panko, such a gentle soul. Amanda Nicholson, since the very beginning lurker, red is your color and I love how you are growing and coming out of your shell. Amanda, that is such a nice thing to say. I love it when lurkers come out. It means so much to me. Thank you, girl. That is really sweet. Paula, I have sat back and lurked both your pages for months and love you both. Congrats to you and Tommy. I truly enjoyed last night's live. I can't wait to see what the future holds. I love to hear that, Paula, and thank you for coming out from Lurk, Lurkville, girl. Um, okay, V. McWilliams, uh, I am really looking forward to it as well. I hope there's uh, enough time in his busy life, and uh, and I also want him to do whatever is right for his mental well-being. Because as you guys know, this week he stepped back from the boat, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll with it and do whatever he wants to do. And, and I'm really proud of him either way for doing what he wants to do. Okay, Sarah Browett. Miss Sunrise Dawn, thank you for that. You don't have to do it anymore. Teresa, uh, red being my color. Well, thank you. You know, I feel a little washed out because I only have blush on. I tried to put some eyeshadow on, but it's so sheer and like, I feel like I should have put more of an, of an eye, like color, because I feel a little washed out. But thank you for saying that. I love that nothing but love. I was a permanent lurker and you have brought me out of my lonely shell. I love that because you do chat with us and I love that. Thank you for coming, Judy. Stella. Hey, Reese, how's everyone today? Just got into bed. Watched your show with Tommy on replay. He was spicy. Loved it. Best of luck with it. Thank you. He was. He was a bit, uh, he brought on the zest. But you know what I loved about that? That's because he was being himself. He was able to say and do whatever he wanted. And I really love that. I love that for anybody. Uh, loving the relatable. Glad Tommy is stepping back. Doing the right thing for himself. Big fan of that. MNOs for sure. Thank you, Tina. Hey, Hef. Uh, yeah, Tommy is taking a break from the boat, John. He's letting Spanx take over. And Spanx even said that he's surprised this wasn't done like over a year ago. He's been talking about doing it for a long time. I hope you will make it to Tucson. Yeah, definitely. I'm hoping for that too. Um, Skyrider, I love that you're not a lurker. Um, thank you, Millie. Um, I, 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 think I'll make it. Yeah, I think so. It's just kind of up in the air. I kind of wish I hadn't have announced it because there's some things that may or may not uh, cut into that with Tommy's um, schedule. And so I may have to reschedule it. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Ev Barney. Donna N, you used to be a lurker, started talking more here, and I'm glad I did. I love that. Chica Cherry Cola, that's the cutest name. Hi. Kimberly, lurker love to you and trying to break out of my shell. Kimberly, that's so sweet. I love it when you guys do that. Thanks, Lisa. Look at you bringing out all of us lurkers. I was one for months. So I started, oh my God, I love that. That really, really changes things for me. I love it when you guys tell me that. It never gets old. J9, I really don't have any specs with red. I should though. Yes, Tammy, I agree. 
Oh, you ordered the green skirt from Lady Co. Is it one that I haven't seen? Speaking of Lady Co., I spoke with Abby yesterday, guys. The first live for April, we haven't even done one yet, will be a week from yesterday. So, oh my God, that's so funny. Darlene Williams. We're looking at April 18th, my mom's birthday next Thursday, and then uh, May 2nd, which is another Thursday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, the Italian in you is pretty much making it impossible for you to look washed out. Thank you, Sophia. Don Meredith is a longtime lurker since the 90s following Scientology. I love the work you're doing and the work you're doing on yourself. Don, that is such a kind thing to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sarah Browett, for sure. Tucson is a lot uh, nicer than Phoenix. I did not know that. I've never been there. Hey, Georgia Burke. From the beginning, long time lurker. Red is your color. Love it. You are doing amazing. And your son is going to be an absolute gent. All down, down, to, down to you. You should be so proud of him. Amanda, you are full of really kind things. And that means a lot. And Huxley was so funny last night. Uh, hey, Roberta. Thank you, Georgia Burke. Uh, Sharon Serendipity. I was a lurker for so long. Your chat is busy. So I learned to chat in a smaller space. Okay. Sharon HL. Hi, fellow lurkers. I've been trying to chat more too, but it's a little bit scary. Understandable, guys. Only do what's comfortable for you. I appreciate it when you come out of your shells, but by all means, I'm not uh, asking you to do that. You just do what's comfortable. Hi, Gia. Reese has special powers. She makes us lurkers feel comfortable enough to chat. I love that, Buffy. Um, I do have special SP OT8 powers. I really like Spanx on the boat. He's a natural. I love Spanx on the boat. I hope he keeps that up. He is going to grow that channel, I think, a lot. He That kid is very talented. Nothing but love. I can honestly say that you are responsible for bringing me through one of the most painful seasons of my life. And I am finally seeing the other side. I'll never be able to thank you enough for that. It doesn't um, get more heartfelt than that. Um, thank you. That's really nice of you to say. I love that, Lisa. I'm loving the lurkers here today. It took me years to have the courage to fearlessly type things here. Welcome. Reese helped me stretch. Well, I want to tell you guys that you are the reason, hi, Rogue Hedgy, that I feel so strong. So, um, yeah, nothing but love. Thank you for holding safe space here, everyone. It means a lot to a lot of people. This is a beautiful chat. It is. Kat, I'm glad that you made it and you are chatting with us. <clears throat> Fancy face, you are actively getting me through it. Guys, um, I don't know how some of you say that. I feel like I'm barely holding it together myself. So it's true, Reese, you are doing the same thing for me daily. Um, Thank you, Sharon Spaghetti. I um, I don't feel like I deserve that. Again, I... I... Um, I've been having... Um, just I'm just struggling too. So, hey, Jennifer Arnold, I really appreciate you saying that. I feel like I needed to hear that today. So thank you for giving me a little bit of a boost. I love you, Sherry Davidson. Thank you, Baby Steps. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah, Skywriter, I'm a little sad today. There's just a lot going on, guys. There's a lot going on. Um, and uh, as much as I... Thank you, Panko. 
Um, as much as I, therapy is helping so much for me, it's giving me all kinds of armor. I feel like it's just every week I'm just more suited up for things that come at me. Um, show the ring. Uh, just a, it's this cute little uh, heart ring that I bought from a store that ca came from Paris, actually. And then just my turquoise. Um, I love that of Barney. Um, Tina Serlin, that is such a nice thing to say. You let us be ourselves and you share your own self. You hold space for us all. Let us hold space for you. Thank you, Ev. Sarah says, it's true. You are the ray of light in my daily life. And for an hour or two, I forget I have depression all because of you. I lurked and lurked and finally got brave to raise my head. I feel like you're my neighbor next door, even though we are miles apart. You bring uh, so very much to all of us here. It may be for different circumstances, but one thing is for sure, you make our world a better place, myself included. I lost three friends to ODs and self-harm in the past three months, so Reese is my escape from dwelling. Joe, I'm really sorry I didn't know that. I'm really sorry, Joe. Thank you, Sharon. Roberta, I had my hair colored today. Shauna B says, I have never participated in a YouTube channel chat until I came here. I feel comfy here and safe. It's because your honesty and openness. Thanks for this safe place. Love you. Thank you. Jennifer, longtime watcher, only commented a few times, but Reese, you are the best friend we all wish we had in real life. I'll just take that. I'm, I want to reject it because I know that's not true, but thank you for saying it. I know it's not true in my head. I'm not rejecting it on your end. Thank you, Sherry Davidson. I think Relatable will be Tommy's fun and relaxing time for you too. Zelda, yeah, I... Um, I would really like to think that as well. Marion Calabro, yeah. I love you, Dirty Mouse. So, I was just talking to you, Noel. Thank you for telling me that. Um, I just guys, you're so supportive. And I just want to say thank you. I, um, it's a perfect time. I, I got some, uh, harsh words said to me by just different people, different emails, texts. Um, and I'm not going to go deep into it, but the message was Tampa B. I was a different person when I met you. Everything in my life has gotten better since then. Well, I feel the same way. The message kind of was along the lines of just, I'm not a good person. And um, it kind of got to me. Thank you, Judy. Um, and I've Thank you, Dylan.
I've been kind of um, at war with myself. It's me. It's not anybody else. I've just been kind of at war with myself about some things. And uh, it just wasn't a good time to hear the words that I heard today. Um, and my therapy has helped a lot in believing that I am not a bad person. But for whatever reason, this person that said it to me, it really hit home. And it made me question, am I a bad person? And I only questioned it for about 10 seconds. And I knew, I know that I have done some terrible things. Um, I've said things to people, but... Um, I just know I'm not uh, evil or um, I don't want to inflict pain on anybody. I don't, I don't enjoy it. I don't want to see that for anybody. So if you need to make a hug run, let me know. I will gladly make the drive. Truth be told, I could use one too. Thank you. Um, Whoever said you're a bad person knows they're a bad person and would rather throw it up all over you. I don't know, Blake. And and it's nothing, guys. It's just I get random emails from people uh, sometimes and people say mean things. And that's all. I just, I got a bad email from somebody and it just made me sad. It shook my stability a little bit. And uh, baby steps, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gail Richards. Your animals truly reflect the type of person you are. Hurt people hurt people. God, could we say that? I can't say that enough. Just can't say that enough. Uh, West Coast Fancy Nancy, ignore the haters. You have made a place for this girl to feel safe and I'm forever grateful. That is so kind. That is so kind. Thank you for that. Tommy just asked if you want to do a re relate a boat. He's on his way home. Um, no, he didn't. I don't think Tommy is available. But thank you, Joe. <laughs> I love that, Blake. <laughs> yeah, I know the person, Scottsdale Nancy. I haven't seen you for a minute, Chaotic Bleach. I am very sensitive, Panko, and that is a problem for me. It's a problem. So you see this, I will throw money, was blasting your sex discussion outside while sorting out my deck. My neighbor on the next acreage wandered over and said, what on earth are you listening to? The sex discussion yesterday. <laughs> Thank you for throwing money at that. You are a great person, such a kind, good, compassionate human being, one of the best. Don't listen to them. They are projecting their issues and inner pain on you. Thank you, Noel. Do not listen to those people. You cannot make everybody happy. Those people can go away. I get that. I don't know what set him off. Um, that's a good point, Diane Roberts. Uh, hi, Ashley Marie. 
You have to know that anyone who would say such negative things to a stranger has many issues. Remember, Reese, what someone thinks about you is none of your business. Love you. Love you, Diane. Guys, I, I didn't see Tommy's message, but if he's driving, he can't go live anyway. So um, he, yeah. Did he set it up? I mean, does he have it set up? I don't know what he said. D did he set up a stream or something? I thought Tommy was busy today. I don't know. I don't know his schedule and I don't know if he set something up. Thank you, Shay. That's really kind of you. Thank you. I don't know what he's barking at. Hey, Matrix Rabbit. You don't realize your channel grew very fast. Relatable got monetized in 12 hours. That's a special thing. Oh, and I don't overlook that, my friend. I don't take it for granted. It's amazing. And it just goes to show you how many friends I have. And, uh, the support that I have. I like Tommy because he not only looks like my brother, he also acts and sings like him. I lost him to cancer and was also my best friend and Irish twin. Wow, Judy, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that, that you lost your brother. Let them throw it in the gap. You are my friend. Thank you, Keela. I love you. Thank you guys. Guys, I didn't come on here to be a pity party. I, I didn't mean to do that. It's just, uh, I had a conversation with someone and it shook me up a little bit today and, uh, I've felt off kilter all day and, uh, drained and just, it took a lot out of me. And, um, honestly, it's not their fault. That would be my fault for allowing it. I shouldn't, uh, I should let my Scientology kick in. Keela, thank you for that. Thank you for gifting those memberships, girl. That's really kind. That's really kind. Thank you, Je Jezebella Mode. Hi, Simon Superstar. Thank you, KK's Way. Thank you, Debbie Lima. Guys, I just, um, I don't say much in the chat. Just want you to know you've really made a difference in my life. Hugs. Susan Ward, that means everything to me. Reese, remember always, fear is the mind killer. Don't be afraid of what other people think. They don't know anything more about you than what you share on here. And none of what you says makes, say makes you bad. Did Tommy set up a, a stream, guys? I don't know. I didn't see his, I didn't see it. Did he say that he set up a stream? So I, um, I've missed you too, Alex. Uh, I've got so much to catch up on between the flu and university stuff, uh, and time zone issues. I feel like I've missed so much. I don't know what has happened, but I love you, Reese. Thank you, Alex. I love you. And I'm glad to see you. I've missed you, girl. Thank you for your super chat. Bye, dirty mouse. Oh, he was asking if you wanted to do one when he gets home. Did he say when he was going to be home? Yeah, guys, I don't know when he's going to be home. And honestly, uh, I think Tommy said that he's tied up all weekend with this um, commercial. So we may not do one probably for a while. Um, hey, Sarah Browett. Thank you, babe. That is really kind. So I was taught, I just want to kind of talk about something I was, and I don't know, I don't quite fully have it. I don't quite fully have it, um, out like what I want to say. I don't have my mind wrapped around it. Um, thank you, Liz tricks. I love Liz tricks. I was thinking about something today and you know, when you go get your hair done and as long as I've known her, 
uh, you need to do a relate a virus stream. That's hilarious. And I guarantee you that would be really fun to have you guys on, on the relate about that would be really fun. Joe virus. And I don't know why I didn't think of that. Bye Anna banana. Thank you, Claire with an I. Thank you, Marie J. I was talking to my hairstylist about this. Cause again, I'm close to her. Um, and Oh, I have to read that. AKI. I'm ax. Uh, I don't usually chat, but I catch a lot of your lives and recaps. I followed you right from the start. I have loved watching you grow, evolve and face everything with such strength. That is such a nice thing to say. Uh, thank you so much. I love when people step up that I haven't talked to before. So thank you. Panko, you are so open, Reese. You've shared all your life with us. Not many of us could do the same. Panko, thank you. I've always liked you, Panko. Thank you for saying that. Um, I was just thinking about today, like people, basically, after the age of what, 25, people are, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, people are so damaged, so damaged. Look at my background. Thank you, Bridget. Look at my background in my life. How could I ever have a relationship with another human being? I started thinking about that today. And I don't mean relationship like a love interest relationship. I mean, friendship. How can you even take somebody's damage and somebody else's damage and think that that's a good idea? <laughs> it's unrealistic. It's unrealistic. How can you take that and go, wow, we should really try to have something. I know we're all damaged, but there's so much of it. And I'm not speaking for you guys. I'm speaking for me. You always say you feel embarrassed for not having a formal education, but you have special skill set and you make people feel seen. That's huge. Jolie, thank you for saying that. It's just a lot. I was thinking about it and it's so much. It's so hard. Yes, Matrix Rabbit. Some of us are more damaged than others. I feel like I'm pretty up there. And well, I mean, you make a good point, Rogue Hedgy. That's something I needed to read, actually. No, stop it. Our damage doesn't make us unworthy of love and relationships. See, that's what I needed to hear. I felt unworthy of love or being in a relationship after I had this conversation today. Go get your mail, at least, uh, very least, make you laugh. Love, you have a positive impact on so many. Go get your mail. Okay, did you send me something? I haven't been. Tony Suter, I will. Thank you. You don't start with the damage. You start with the relatability, which is exactly what you do every day. I have a channel and you make this look easy. It's hard doing what you do. I mean, it is easy for me because I enjoy it so much, but thank you for saying that. John says, I think what you're struggling with right now is feeling like it's okay to bring damage into a relationship. It is okay. It's not. If the other person or people or whoever it is doesn't accept it, it's not okay to bring damage into a relationship if the other person sees a real issue with your damage. If the other person goes, whoa, get the fuck out of, <laughs> get away from me because you are, you know, damaged or evil or, you know, whatever it may be. It's hard to, I just, it just washed over me today. And I was like, how do we trust anybody? How do I trust anybody? I don't. And that's why I keep, everything blocked off from being harmed because I don't want to put myself out there and then find that Noel, whoever said you were mean, I hope are ashamed. They need to look guys. It's just, it was an, it was just a bad communication. It was just something I had with another. And again, it shook me enough to where I was like, you know what? If they don't, well, let's hear from our therapist. If they don't want your damage, accept you with your damage, then they are not the right person for you. Yahtzee. Yes. 
Jimena, I love you. Uh, I want to tell you that you are a beautiful soul. You are radiate uh, so much love and care. I hate to see you crying because of something like this. I send you a big hug. Jimena, I love you. And thank you for saying that. Just those words. It's so kind. That's my issue though. Relationships are about connection. It's when a person gets and says, I still want to be with you flaws and all. Do you know anybody like that? Matrix rabbit. They say that, but in my experience, and I'm not talking about right now, I'm not talking about current events. I have experienced people who act like they're going to love me. I don't even know that I want to get into this. They, they, they put on a show. You think it's going to happen or, you know, that friendship is going to occur or just any kind of just a, a connection with somebody and there's rejection or there's like worse than rejection. There's disgust for who you are. I love you too, Kathy Ann. And guys, I get these emails and, and sometimes they bother me and sometimes they don't. And I think it's whether or not I know the person and in this particular case, uh, I know the person. And so I think it hurt a little more. I love you too, Lisa Black, but Thank you, Keila. Reese Quabel, I love you for you. Whoever that person is needs to take a look. Being rejected by anybody hurts. It does, but with not as much for me. I have to care about the person. When somebody rejects me and I've already kind of, um, definitely not Cindy Collins. I have to feel something for someone in order for that rejection to really work for me. And that's probably, uh, yeah, it does. And I think so. It sounds like someone who is leading you on probably. And it's not something I should care about. I shouldn't put a lot of value into it, guys. It was, it was an empty nothing. I mean, when you think about it, it's, it's from a person, it's from an email saying, you know, you're not who you say you are and you're kind of a bad person. Sassy Savage. I love you, girl. I think it's just hard to open up to people in general. And when you trust people and you, this is new for me. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know if you know, this is new for me. Uh, yes. Chaotic bleach. Yes. Again, Yahtzee rejection after effort is the most hurtful. It is. It is. Now, is it that person's fault? No, not really. Not really. Um, am I having a bad day? No, not really. I'm just, I'm just, it's been a busy day. Honestly, it's going to continue to be a busy day. I'm not done yet. But I let it in. There was a hole in the boat and I let it in. I let it sink in and I shouldn't have done that. I have a lot of armor that I've gotten from therapy and I need to utilize that. Um, but yes, rejection hurts and yeah, it's part of life. It's just my self-defense mechanism though, is to not trust or let anybody in. And, um, maybe, you know, I have uh, grown from that. I thought, but maybe I haven't. I do. Skywriter. People will hate you, rate you, shake you, but how strong you stand is what makes you so true. And Skywriter is a uh, nail on the head there. You feel deeply and quickly. I do. I do. Um, did the person say this to you or are you assuming they think you are bad? They said it to me. And again, guys, I mean, it's an email who cares, right? Um, and I need to just let it go. I need to let it roll off. It's just, uh, you know, I don't know today for whatever reason it, um,
You are Joe virus. And I love that about you. Sometimes guys, I get a little sad that my Scientology is weak. Because at least I felt nothing. Sometimes I miss it because I was trained so well. I just, it's weird having feelings. It's weird. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it was easier to have walls up. It was easier to feel numb. And it was easier to have all of those that, you know, you couldn't really get to me because there were so many walls to get through to get to me. And so I feel like I have helped myself a lot by taking the walls down and you guys have helped me so much and therapy has helped me so much, but my God, it exposes me. Um, and it makes me feel very vulnerable. And so then I kind of cling to people, you know, I make friends, I cling to people and I, uh, shouldn't do that. Honestly, I feel like that's probably not the best route right now. Are friends a bad thing? Not at all, but maybe in my life right now, it's not a good thing for me because I don't know what to trust or believe. I'm just now, I kind of feel this way. Like, I feel like I was born in the dark. That's a way of putting it. I was born into the darkness. I never saw rainbows to begin with. So now I see the sun and I see happiness and I don't quite know how to, how to work with it yet. I don't know. I know that sounds stupid. And that makes me feel victim-y. Like, poor me. I didn't know anything. And I hate that shit. You guys know I do. So I'm trying not to come off that way because I don't like it. But it's the truth. Why trust people? Why have friendships and relationships? I probably need to put a halt, stop that until like maybe some time has gone by, like maybe a couple of years, maybe, you know, till I, I, I have my footing. I don't have my footing. So when I get rejected or burned by somebody, um, and even someone small, like the email today that I got, it hurts still. And it shakes me all day. And yeah, rain, you were taught to shut off emotions and now you're feeling them. <sighs> and matrix rabbit is correct. Todd, because we need connection to survive. And so is John. See, I love hearing from a man. I really enjoy hearing. I love you women. Don't get me wrong. We're closest here to the women, but I do like when a man speaks up, how are you going to get your footing in relationships without having them? I don't know. Yep, yeah, Rogue Hedgy, you have to learn by doing it. I know, Patty. And you're not wrong. Hi, Jeepsy Soul. But it hurts and it burns. And I don't like the sting. I don't like the burn of the sun. I don't like the feelings that I feel. And so I just kind of want to like backpedal and go, nah, this, uh, this isn't for me. And then I go back to what I was saying, baggage, uh, you know, damage. Is there a chance that I shouldn't have relationships? Because I mean, be honest with me, guys. Is there so much damage here that this is not a good idea? Oh, I did, Gretchen. I felt a lot of empathy for the person that sent the email. You guys are saying no, but there's a lot to unpack with me. There's a lot. Uh, my God, I haven't seen you in so long. Maybe it's because you feel like your dad is rejecting you all over again. Um, No, I don't think so. I don't ever think about him. I kind of forgot he existed. Um. 
Would Fred let you talk like this, Sophia? No, he would not. But Fred would also sit there through it and listen through it all and hold my hand and gaze into my eyes. And he would have all the patience in the world. And he would, uh, he would listen and be such a good guide. Yeah, Fred would not. Fred would not. What I loved most about Fred was his patience. Because I'm, I'm a mess. I, I totally, I cut people off. I talk too fast. I get to, I jump to conclusions. Fred was just like, sweetheart, come here. I mean, he was just so, it was just, you, yeah. Fred was the son. Uh, hey, friend, uh, one day you will stop trying not to be and simply be. That is a beautiful freedom. We will be here to help anchor you in the surrounds feel rocky until you can simply be. That is really smart, um, Sarah. And you're right. You're right. I keep fighting it and trying to fit. That's the other problem. I was telling my hairstylist this today. I find that when I have relationships, none of them feel right. Like I'm trying to fit and change and mold and morph into something that makes you feel better. I'm trying to not be so unpolished and, you know, cut you off or do whatever I do that triggers people because I do stuff that triggers people and pisses people off. I'm very brash, right? I, I mean, I am, it, it just is. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I tend to be too much, even though a person will say you're not too much. Uh, even though a person will go, I love you or I trust you or whatever it is, whatever the situation, I find that I get slapped back down eventually because I didn't morph and fit and mold into what you wanted me to be. And for that, I get harmed or I get told, you know, off or whatever it is. I'm just, I'm going through timeline of emotions here. It's not a specific incident. I'm not referring to anything specific right now. I just mean... I find myself having to shrink and do things to make people feel at ease around me. And this is the only place I don't have to do that. I don't do that here. But when I get into a one-on-one -on -one, um, isolated relationship, whether it be a, like I said, a love interest, a friendship, whatever it may be, I find myself trusting a person because they make me feel like I can trust them. I buy and believe into their words and then I get to know them and there's something I do or say that isn't, you know, what they want and like, and then I get rejected and, and that's hard. Does everybody else experience that? I've not experienced that because I was such a soldier, just like the rest, just like everybody else in Scientology. We're all the same. And so now I'm out here like trying to feel my way through stuff and I feel blind and I'm like, uh, ugh, I don't know. That hurts. That stings. That burns. I don't like anything. I don't know that I was clear with what I'm trying to say, but I feel depressed for sure. Stray. In a year, things will be better. I, I hope that's true. I hope that's true. we got to, you got to get out of your head and learn to trust those that say you're not too much. You would think so. We all feel rejection and it sucks. Good relationships are worth the risk. <laughs> I appreciate that. And I hope you're right. That is what friendship is. We all modify behavior to suit the situation. Thank you for your super chat, Joe. You're not damaged. That's a term for machines. You're a hurt woman, strong, but hurt. And the right person with the right tools has yet to come in to alleviate that pain in a way we can't. That is true. That is true. And I look forward to that day. Blake, I, I think you're right. My hairstylist even kind of said something like that. Like, just, just wait, you've got plenty of time and you're probably going to meet somebody, you know, whether and male or female, like just a, have a friendship that is unlike any other kind. I love Nancy. You are so advanced in knowing where you are and putting the effort into growing and changing. Thank you, Nance. You are such an inspiration. You'll learn to strengthen your picker and choose the best relationships. God, I love her. 
That is so true. That is inspiring right there. Let's read it again. You are so advanced in knowing where you are and putting the effort into growing and changing. I love that. You're an inspiration. You'll learn to strengthen your picker and choose the best relationships. That's what's missing. Nancy, thank you. That's what's missing. I don't have, see, that's why I'm like, I don't, I want to cut everything off from me in the world right now. And I don't mean I'll keep my channel, but I don't, I want to protect myself from having any relationships that are too one-on-one -on -one with people because I don't know yet how to trust that. I think I do. And then I'm wrong. You are walking through quicksand, but have a lot of hands reaching for you. That's so kind, Patty. Thank you. Thank you for your super chat. You shouldn't have to change for friendships or love or whatever. Just be yourself. You don't change your personality. You change the way you interact. This is from birth. Sarah, you're doubting your value and struggling to feel love, lovable today. Yes, I am. That is true. That's okay. We all have these days. We don't see it. We'll sit here with your insecurities and reflect a mirror staying by your side. Sarah, you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. That means so much to me. Never dull your shine. You be you. You are perfect. Chris, Crafts and Coffee, thank you so much. And I like Liz tricks. You have to put yourself out there. Sometimes it's scary and sometimes it isn't. You still need to try. It's worth the risk. Do you trust us? Do you believe us? Please trust that what uh, your friends in this chat are saying and your impact on them is real and true. Over 500 people are here, not by coincidence. Yes, true. And I do. Uh, I do trust you 100%. Yes. I probably am overthinking it. That's my middle name, Matrix Rabbit. You know what I feel? You know what a good word for this is? I feel very feral. I feel feral. Like I was rescued from Scientology and Scientology was like out living with the gorillas or the wolves. That's where I was. And now I've brought, been brought into society. Thank you, Bo. And I'm just like, I don't really know how to interact with people sometimes. I don't really know the rules. I think that's my problem too. I don't know the rules. I feel like I say or do things and I get slapped down. And I'm like, oh, is that not, a, that's not appropriate? That's no, no good. Does anybody watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? It makes me think of Larry David. He's like, no good. When somebody's like, ah, oh, and he goes, what? No good, no good. That's... Uh, I know it's nonsense. I'm just trying to articulate how I feel. I'm just fiery. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the map today. I apologize for this live. I feel bad about it. This is like, this is, I feel like this is my job and I came out and sucked at it today because I feel like I kind of let you guys down in a lot of ways. That person went out of their way to hurt another for no reason, but to hurt someone who does that. Um, well, I mean, there was some back and forth to it, Zelda, for sure. You know, I, I had a conversation with the person. Brianna Miller, I love you. Nobody knows what they're doing. You do it better than most, Reese. Keila says, Reese, you are such an inspiration to so many of us. You will learn as you go. There are 20,000 people who can be here for you. Let them. Thank you, Keila. Why do you think this was a failure? You're talking about something that we all feel sometimes. I would say this live is relatable. Well, John, thank you. That's really nice. That's true. And don't feel bad. We all need these conversations. That's, that's thank you. Crystal says, the rules are situational and impossible to follow all the time. If we can all just follow one rule, be kind. That's so true. I don't feel let down. Does anybody else feel let down? Sarah, what's your job? Being relatable? Then damn girl, you did your <laughs> job epic today. Thank you, Sarah. Damn, Amy Edge over here. Holy crap. Never spent a lot of time on YouTube before and never would have reached out to a creator before. 
Then one day I stumbled onto Aaron's channel and found you. You make me laugh and cry. I relate to you in so many ways, despite that we are very different. You have a gift and I love you. Thank you, Amy Edge. You are very special to me and you've been around forever. Thank you for your very kind words, my friend, and your super chat. It's really kind. Rogue Hedgy, you're a new member. Look at you. I thought you were already a member. Thank you. Alex says, you are allowed to feel your feelings. You spent so long having them crushed down that it sometimes feels scary to feel them all at once. Thank you, Alex. Guys, and I think that's what it is. Sometimes I it comes out just like it's just so much um, because I am sometimes I'm like full speed with my feelings and it's too much. And, uh, I just don't ever, here's my fear. I don't ever want to anyone to walk away from me. I don't care if you unsubscribe, if, if we break up in a relationship, if it's a friendship, I don't care. I don't want anybody to walk away from me thinking I'm hateful or, um, cruel or, you know, any of those things. I don't want anybody to think that about me because it's not who I am. But at the same time, if they think that about me, were they ever my friend or supporter in the first place? If somebody thinks that about you, why would I value it anyway? Yeah. Becky Sue, I love you, Reese. You are good for me. Thank you, honey. I love you too. Thank you, Becky Sue. Jimena, if, if they think that about you, they don't belong with you. Yeah, exactly. You guys are right. It's just, it's, it's, I'm just getting through that answer. It's easier said than done too. That's a problem. Um, thank you, Sharon T. And that's true. Sharon T. Have you Reese, have you met you? You are none of those things. And people who think that must be drunk or have fog in their hearts. I like the way you put that. In Carnival, walk away. I just subbed to another channel with you on it. Brian Lucas, I love you. I love you, Brian. Love you, people, places, and perspectives. Thank you for sharing your process, Reese. You're doing great. Have a great week, everyone. Weekend, everyone. Thank you, babe. Amy is right. You have a real, you have a gift of real communication. We all appreciate you. Thank you so much, Shauna B. It's just, I, uh, Broncos for life. It's another channel that, uh, Tommy started called the relate a boat. I don't know, Patricia, but chill. I love your lives, Reese. You are super real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and guys, there are 550 of us in here. I mean, that, that is so meaningful to me. You guys are my friends. Um, I wonder whose car that is. There's a car alarm going off. I hope it's not mine. Yes. I feel this so deeply. I broke up with my best friend 20 of 20 years, even though I didn't do anything wrong. It still hurts so bad. I'm sure. I'm sure Brianna and I'm sorry. Question. I think we need to calibrate wh uh, what was said or discussed with this person. Would everyone agree that this was, that it was mean to you? We feel things differently. I'm a Taurus, not cancer. Um, I think it was mean, but I also think, you know, I, I, when someone says something like that, I try to think like, what are they going through to say something like that? Uh, their opinion is none of your business. Gypsy soul. Thank you. And you're right. It's as simple as that. Gypsy soul. You're absolutely right. And thank you for your super chat, my friend. Blake's like, can we wrap this up? <laughs> what do you want right now? What would make this heartache go away? Blake, I know you didn't mean it like that, by the way, I love you. And you know, what would help is just talking about it. Just getting it out is what helped me. And, um, I'm sorry I drug it out guys, but, oh, that's horrible. Joe virus by SB. Um, just talking about it is what helped me. Thank you for listening. You guys, it's, it was just, I just felt 
shaken up today. I felt a little bit shaken up and I'll be fine. I'll be back at it this weekend. It'll be fine. Um, that's so true, Ellie J. That is true. When you were a Scientologist, you had a tourniquet on your feelings, like a rope around a limb. When you release the tourniquet, sometimes it hurts like heck, but you were growing and blooming. God, that's so, that's such a good point. Thank you. Our hearts hurt when yours does. We don't need you to be the image of perfect you strive for. We just want you, all versions, simply you. Sarah, you are magical. You are angelic, Sarah. Thank you for saying that. And it makes me feel better. It makes me feel surrounded by love, which is what I was hoping for. And I got it. Um, thank you, Miss Sunrise Dawn. Your blood sugar from not eating might be making me more upset. Uh, it is 530. I haven't had anything yet today. Maybe. I mean, maybe. I kind of doubt it. Um, honestly, I can tell when my sugars are out of whack. There's like pretty specific signs and symptoms that I experience. I'm not feeling that way. I think I'm just feeling a little bit. Uh, I love you, Blake. That feeling when you feel the foundation shift, even a degree is literally destabilizing, but you know yourself, Reese, and we know enough to know your true North. I love that, Jenny. Thank you. It is destabilizing. It is. And being a damn cancer sign doesn't help. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Matrix Rabbit. Uh, if Reese, if in doubt, look at your tattoos. I miss that. You guys have no idea how much I miss that. I hear him say it still, but it's not the same as it was looking into Fred's eyes and him going, I'm rooting for you. He'd wink or he'd just out of nowhere. He would go, I'm on your side, kid. And it was really special. It was really special. Nearly Marie, thank you for being here. Guys, again, I want to say thank you for listening to me on this. Um, I'm sorry for just being silly. Fred is in the air. He's always in the air. Fred is always with me. And when people are shitty, I always think that too. I think... Yeah, most of us never get a Fred. I got a Fred and I couldn't be more thankful. Um, when people are shitty, I think I have something though that you'll never have. Fred, my relationship with Fred, my protection I still get from Fred, the comfort I feel from him. Um, you know, it doesn't, uh, doesn't match anything. You can't tear me down that much because I have him and he doesn't let me go down that low, that deep. He lifts me back up. But, um, I want to say too, speaking of, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Jeepsy soul. I'm so glad you shared that today, Reese. I felt a certain way today and it's nice to have this space to feel the feels. That's true too. I'm happy that that helped you, Jenny, in some way. Uh, Zoe, I've never commented before, but I'm watching since the beginning of your channel and I love you. You are such a kind soul. Thank you for everything. That is amazing. I love it when people, guys, that's amazing. Zoe, thank you for saying something. That's crazy to me. I always have this stupid idea that the people I'm talking to are only the people that watch. I kind of forget that there are people who've never commented who know me, but I don't know you. And it's crazy. Thank you, Zoe. We root for you so much. Your chat assembled at the drop of a beautiful blue hat. LEJ, you guys did. You really did. You said in your live chat last night that when someone comes for us to ask what their intentions are, damn good energy. I think that could be applied here. You make an excellent point. You make a really good point. What are your intentions? I like that. I think I know what the intentions were. And I think I like that. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for reminding me. Eden Grace, Reese, people do come and go from our lives and it can be hard, but it's worth it. There are people for a season, people for a reason, people for life. You have helped me so much. Eden Grace, thank you. And I'm glad I've helped you. And I'm glad that you remind me of that. Yeah. That's true, Gretchen. 
I mean, this chat has become friends with each other. That's what I mean. We're all friends. And so it hurts a little bit when you think you have one and you didn't, you know, that's all. But love to the lurkers. Amen. Yes. I love that too, Skywriter. Um, that's true. That's true. And, you know, everybody has their own issues and I'm not going to hold it against this person. I'm just going to take a deep breath and move on, you know, and wish, wish them well. Wish the best for them. I don't ever hold ill will like that. I just don't. You know, they said something to me that I wish they hadn't have said. But at the same time, you know, maybe they're having a terrible day. Maybe there's something going on in their mind. And you also kind of have to keep that in mind. Yeah, Reese, those who count stick around. And that would be you, Brian Lucas. You count so much because you've stuck around with me forever. And I know you always will. And I love you for that. Well, hey, Yadira. It's their issue, Reese, not yours. Yeah, you're right. I am so glad that we talked about this. And again, I feel like I kind of drug you guys down a little bit. And I apologize for that. I know that you're here to listen. I, I know you're going to say, stop, we're, you're fine. But honestly, guys, I would much rather laugh and have a good time and do what I did yesterday with Tommy and just shoot the breeze and, and be with friends and you know, but there are hiccups and growth periods and it hurts and it burns. Oh, it's your birthday next week. Well, happy early birthday. You're going to be 28. Holy crap. So young. Um, I like this. I feel much better about it. Again, I'm serious. Thank you guys. And I wanted to go back to the boat for a minute, the relate boat. Okay. Wax. That's so kind. That's a good point. In the last year, you lost almost everyone. You probably have PTSD of fear of losing anyone else. A hundred percent. I can't talk about it much more or I'll cry. I just don't like it when people leave my life that I care about. Honestly, Reese, it makes me feel less alone when you express yourself. That is amazing. It's good to hear even a beautiful woman like you has some problems. Tracy, holy crap. First of all, thank you for saying that. Second of all, I am more of a mess uh, than anybody I know. We did reach our goal. Patricia M., we got it monetized. Yes. This entire live has been amazing. And honestly, just what I needed to hear right now, you're a rock, you're a star. Thank you so much, Bo. It helps. Yes, I will remember, Keila. It helps when I come on alive and I know that it helped somebody else. That's why I really, really, really love doing this. Thank you, Kristen, with a C. But guys, really, truly, um, what is this? Crypto Grand Lurker from day one. The best thing uh, is that you get to choose the people you want around you. That is so true. You make a very good point. Yes. But back to the re relate about, I want to say thank you. Hey, Jeanette Rexford, I want to say thank you guys for going through the trouble of replaying over and over. You guys did it in like 12 hours. It's crazy. It's not crazy at the same time, though. I knew it. Tommy and I had this whole conversation and I knew it. I knew it. He was like, no way. He was like, no way. I said, yes way, dude. We're going to be monetized. Yes, we are. And I just knew it. And I'm proud of that. And I, I love you guys. And I know Tommy's really proud and happy about it too. So, um, I just really love you guys. I loved the relate about yesterday. I had so much fun with him. He's so fun to talk to. He's a good friend. And, um, again, it sounds like Tommy's life is going to be changing quite a bit with just his show and his book and his commercials and all that. And his, um, companies like his, his, what are those things? Those protein balls. So guys, if we don't do anything with Tommy, don't be sad about it. We're happy for him. I wish him the absolute best with all that success. It's just, I think he's going to be more and more busy lately and that's okay too. Uh, relate about for the win. Yes, yes, yes. So guys, thank you again. I love you all. Um, thank you for all the super chats. Um, for all the wisdom tonight. I really needed this. I'm a lurker too, always listening. I finally said hi to become a part of this wonderful family. That is beautiful. Lisa, I love that. If the new channel is monetized, can the money from that go to the expenses for Reese and Tommy tour? Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? That would be. Jamie says it does suck losing people. My older sister decided that having a relationship with my family wasn't something she wanted. Wow. Uh, there was a hard past with her and my dad, but I thought they fixed. Wow. That's really sad, Jamie. That makes me very sad. Ashley Marie, I don't comment much. I've been, haven't been to lives lately, but much due to my daughter, pal. Oh my God. Passing a month ago. But I love how these lives are so uplifting, healing, and encouraging. I needed this. I'm so sorry that you lost your daughter, Ashley. That's horrible. And we're all here for you. And I'm really sorry. That's horrible. Love to you, Ashley Marie. Starfish, I disagree with that. Spanx is amazing and he's going to steer that boat in a great direction. I disagree with that strongly. I don't watch YouTube, but I watch Spanx. He's good. He's very good. Tommy doesn't need to help him. He's got it. Never shrink yourself. This world is harsh, but only surround yourself with the people that you love and trust. Nasty people have issues and are jealous of your growth. That's a good point. So Thank you again. I just, I really want to give a big thank you to you guys for helping to get that, that many subscribers, that many watch hours in that tiny amount of time. You guys are amazing for doing it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I know Tommy thanks you. Tommy was super excited when he called me this morning. He was just over the moon about it. Um, and, and just out of his mind, it was great. He loved it. And we're proud of that. So again, uh, it's something that he built and I'm proud of him for doing it. So thank you guys for doing it and um, being our friend. Paula Pendley, you glow today. Thank you, Paula. Wow. Thank you. Um, yeah, we did it, Anne. We did it. <laughs> Again, I had no doubts. Tommy was the one who was like, mm -mm, and I said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, I did win the bet, but I am going to forgive him of having to uh, actually actually pay up on that bet, guys. He's a good enough friend that he doesn't have to do that. I just enjoy his friendship and I appreciate him. I don't need anything from Tommy. So um, the lifeboat doesn't have to keep all its members, but it will always be growing and allowing space for helping others. Absolutely. And that's so true. And I have no doubt that that will happen too. Uh, Tommy, oh, how little faith. Tommy underestimated me, guys. He underestimated me. He's, uh, he probably won't again. Um, oh, yeah. Before I go, like I said, I've lost over 100 subscribers. If that's by choice, totally get it. You know, you make your own decisions and path in life. However, if not, um, please check your, to make sure you're subscribed. It's just weird. It, the, the number is just really going backwards. We will move on from it. It's okay. Oh my God, I love the spank boat. You're hilarious, Hef. Uh, excited for more of a related boat. No doubt it will bring us lots of laughs. Yes, for sure, for sure. Jamie says, I got many more chosen friends and family here. I love all of you all. That's so nice, Jamie. The lifeboat saved me, but you helped too, Reese. Thank you, Paula. Of course, I'm so happy to hear that. The lifeboat is an amazing place to be. It really is. He built an amazing platform there. And again, I'm really proud of him. And he's uh, he's a man that can get things done. That's for sure. You can you can count on him and it's amazing. So uh, we love Tommy. Uh, <laughs> heavy is the head that wears the crown or captain's hat. Yeah, heavy lies the crown. Okay, thank you for checking, Brian. Uh, so I'm going to sign off. I will be out of town this weekend, but I will be doing lives from my hotel room. I will be back Sunday afternoon. So I'm leaving tomorrow morning. It's a road trip, not far away. I'll be back Sunday afternoon. Uh, thank you, Sharon T. And uh, can we turn it into the wife boat? Uh, it's what we all want. Definitely, Little Mink. I think you're single out there. I don't think anybody else wants that, but you're cute for saying it. Um so I will be back uh, tomorrow, just out of a hotel room. No, no worries. Okay. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for listening to me. Sorry. I was a bit of a downer. I'm feel like I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions. So 
Um, I love you all. And thank you for listening. And thank you for your super chats, your wisdom, your memberships, your support. Always, always, always. Thank you. All right, guys, here comes Fred and I will see you tomorrow.